This is the story of Cuddly Dudley by Jez Albrecht. And this is one of my favourite stories. Cuddly Dudley by Jez Albrecht. Dudley loved to play. He loved to play jumping, diving and splashing. But most of all, Dudley loved to play all by himself. You can just see him here, all on his own. The trouble was, Dudley was such a lovely, cuddly penguin that whenever his brothers and sisters found him on his own, they just couldn't resist having a huddle and a waddle and a cuddle with him. Go away, Dudley would say. Leave me alone. We can't, came the reply. You're just too cuddly, Dudley. He's just here. All his brothers and sisters were cuddling him. Fed up with all your huddling and waddling and cuddling, said Dudley one day. I'm going to find a place where I can play all on my own. And off he went. He waddled and he toddled for many, many miles until, quite by chance, he found a little wooden house which looked perfect for a penguin and it seemed to be empty. At last, said Dudley, a house of my own, a place where I can jump about all day without being disturbed. Just then there came a rap tap tap at the little wooden door. It's us, said two of Dudley's sisters. We followed your waddle prints. Can we come in? No, you jolly well can't, said Dudley. I'm very busy and I don't want to be disturbed, so please go away. And he shut the little wooden door and was alone once more. At last, said Dudley, a house of my own, a place where I can splash about all day without being... <coughs> Just then there came a rat tap tap at the little wooden door. It's us, said his brothers and sisters. We followed your waddle prints. Can we come in and... No, you jolly well can't, said Dudley. I don't want to huddle and waddle and cuddle, so for the very last time, stop following me around. He slammed the little wooden door and was alone once more. At last, sighed Dudley, house of my own. <coughs> Went the little wooden door. That does it, he said. When I catch those penguins, all. But it wasn't the penguins at the little wooden door. It was a great big man. <gasps> My word, said the great big man. What an adorable penguin. Give us a cuddle, he cried. And he chased Dudley all round the house and out into the snow. Dudley ran and ran and escaped from the man. And then he decided to head back home. But which way was home? Crunch, crunch, crunch went Dudley, looking for some waddle prints to follow. But when night came, he was still all alone and completely lost. And now, for the first time, he was lonely. He climbed a hill to get a better view. And at the top, he saw an enormous orange moon with hundreds of tiny sparkling stars huddled all around. Excuse me, said a penguin from the foot of the hill. Have you finished being alone yet? Only we wondered, now the 
at your back. If you wouldn't mind, whether we could... It's just that you're so, so cuddly, shouted Dudley, and he bounced down the hill as fast as he could. Then Dudley and all his brothers and sisters had the best huddling, waddling, cuddling session that they'd ever had. Until... Give us a cuddle! And that was the story of Cuddly Dudley by Jez Albright.